Is YouTube trying to get rid of small gun channels? What can we do about it? I'm River Bay, and welcome to my gun kingdom. About two months ago, uh, I got a warning here on the channel, and um, you know, it wasn't my first warning. About a week prior to that, I got another warning. And that one I appealed and um, it was approved um, to come on the channel. Now, um, in this video, I wanna talk about what we can do to preserve our small gun channels here on YouTube. And um, the most important thing to do is, is, you know, we've all gotten, you know, if you're a small gun channel for sure, if, you know, you've probably gotten warnings just like I have. I haven't gotten any strikes yet at the time this video is being made. But there was a warning that I did get that I appealed also, but it was not approved. So um, I ended up getting that video taken down. Now that warning lasts for 90 days, so it won't be until around the mid part of October 2024 where that warning will come off. But what that is, it's, a, it's the bottom line um, before you get a strike, all right? Now, there's nobody to talk to on YouTube. Um, it's all robots that you're talking to. In fact, um, I saw where YouTube even admits that their, their bots, they call them, um, are very sensitive uh, when they listen to what you have to say in your videos. And so you got to be really careful uh, of the word choice that you use for your videos. But, you know, if you're a viewer and you're not a creator, um, you have an important role also uh, when you watch these videos. And it doesn't matter which uh, gun channel that you watch. But I'll go over what role you have, too, in help preserving these small gun channels on YouTube. My experience on YouTube has always been positive, and I've built my own garage from watching YouTube videos. I was able to repair my furnace from a YouTube video, and also I was able to repair my air conditioner from YouTube. So, you know, YouTube is really beneficial, and as a gun channel, we wanna, we wanna stay on, on YouTube. We don't want them to take us down, get rid of us. So, you know, it's real important when you watch these videos to always make sure that you give us a thumbs up because that really helps the YouTube algorithms understand that, hey, people out there like these channels, so let's keep them around. So that's going to help too. But, you know, YouTube really doesn't care if they take down these small gun channels. Um, you know, uh, it's, it's less money that they're getting anyway. Um, so I think they're looking for us for an excuse to take us down. So we have to stick together because we're all in this together. Um, we all share the, the common value of the Second Amendment. Uh, we love the Constitution of the United States. So, you know, even though we're, we're different channels, we still got to stick together with one another. So if you're what if you, so if you have a um, a gun channel and you're watching another gun channel make sure you always give them a thumbs up if I ever watch another gun channel I always make sure that I click the like button for them too you know and because we're all in this together and we got to we got to support each other and that's the only way we're gonna make it on YouTube so I have heard once you meet 100,000 subscribers here on YouTube as a as a uh, as a channel you're able to get appointed an agent, a, a live person that will help help you resolve some issues that you might have in the future. So that's a hundred thousand subscribers that you got to have, okay, before you're assigned an agent. Now, when I got the warning that was was not taken down, I was not able to talk to anybody. There was nobody I could call. Even after I appealed it, there was no chance of, of a second appeal. 
Okay, so once you appeal it the first time and it's turned down, if you don't have 100,000 subscribers, you're, you're out of luck talking to anybody. So everybody that watches these gun channels, no matter who you are, um, always click that like button down there. And also, you know, maybe also help us by subscribing to the channel too, and that'll help us a lot too. Okay, that all helps the YouTube algorithms pick up that people like these channels. So what did I learn from getting these warnings? Well, on the second warning that I got that was not uh, approved after I appealed it, they sent me a time code. And, and they sent me the time code also that I could go back and look at it on, on one of my videos. And they sent me a time code of one minute and six seconds. So I went to that section of the video and all I found was my logo of, of the character holding the Colt 1847 Colt Walker uh, with, with the cowboy hat on and the beard. That's my, that's my logo. But that timestamp said that that's where the issue was. So that was the one that was actually rejected after I appealed it. But the first one they, they commented on or sent me a time code on that an area specifically where I was redirecting people to another website. So after taking these little tests they send you, they send you a little test, um, you know, on their community guidelines for firearms. And you take the test and if, I think there's like 10 multiple questions, okay? And then if you uh, mistakenly pick the wrong answer on one of them, they give you a chance to go back and correct it, okay? So what they want you to do with these little mini tests is learn where the mistakes are in your videos that you're making if you've got warnings or if you've got strikes. So make sure that you review those, um, those tests, take them, you know, and that helps you to when you appeal it. So always make sure you take the test first before you appeal um, the video they're trying to send you a warning on or give you a strike on. So. But what I learned from that was redirecting people to other websites. That was the only thing that I could find. And that was the one that the appeal was approved. So I'm not sure why the second warning that I got where the time code said it was, it was right at the spot of my logo. I've used my logo ever since my um, YouTube channel has been up and running. So I'm not sure where that, how that could be considered a warning but that's what happened. So what we wanna take from this video is you gotta help out the gun channels. Viewers, you're, you're all important to us. If, if you're a small gun channel like me and you're watching this video right now, you gotta hit the like button. So if you're a viewer, you're, you're very important to us. Always click that like button and make sure that we go for at least a goal in this video of 100,000 uh, subscribers and over a million likes on this video so let's go for that goal down there leave a comment YouTube algorithms also pick up on comments left on videos so the more comments that you leave the more hit more hits that you make on the like button the more subscribe button you know all those things add up in the algorithms of YouTube and it says hey these channels people like so that's where you where you, we got to stick together okay so um, you know um, the right to bear arms is a symbol of our freedom and we all have to stick together and preserve that freedom but I hope this video has helped you out and thank you very much for watching <laughs>